In a recent online portal report, shocking details surrounding the high-profile divorce of Hollywood stars Sophie Turner and Joe Jonas have come to light. According to court documents, the couple's marriage hit a breaking point with the heated argument that took place on Joe Jonas' 34th birthday, which fell on August 15, 2023. This dispute ultimately led to Joe filing for divorce just 15 days later. What makes matter more intriguing is that Sophie only learned about the divorce filing four days after it was initiated on September 5. The court documents state, The breakdown of the party's marriage happened very suddenly. The parties had an argument on August 15, 2023. On or about September 1, 2023, the father filed a divorce case against the mother in Florida. On or about September 5, 2023, the mother found out through the media that the father had filed for a divorce. Before the fateful argument, Sophie had publicly wished Joe happy birthday on her Instagram story. She shared a heartwarming picture of the couple in a matching night suit. Contrary to initial reports, the couple's decision to sell their Miami home was not consequence of the divorce, but had been set in motion as early as April, according to online portal sources. Recent developments also include a lawsuit filed by Sophie Turner alleging that Joe Jonas is preventing their two children three-year-old Villa and the 14-month-old daughter from returning to England. Joe has responded to the lawsuit asserting that Sophie was well aware of his intention to file for divorce and that the Florida court has already issued an order restricting both parents from relocating their children. He stated, Sophie was served with this order on September 6, 2023, more than two weeks ago. Furthermore, Joe Jonas is reportedly seeking shared parenting arrangements for the children, allowing them to be raised by both their mother and father, and is open to the idea of the children splitting their time between the United States and the United Kingdom. However, it is noted that the children have spent most of their lives in the US.